Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and how are you this fine, wonderful day, or morning, or evening? I'm not sure what time zone you're in or where you are in the world, but wherever you are in the world, I hope you're smiling, and if you're not smiling, hopefully we can do something about that. Today is a beautiful, beautiful day. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. I mean, technically, it has a, a, had its ups and downs just like every other day of the week, but my mind was especially confuzzled today because I was doing a lot of running around Anna and I have been looking into getting a new apartment, so we went, we've been going around the house markets of Zillow and Trulia and Apartments.com and Hot Pads and whatnot to try to figure out what cool, humble abodes in our local area is, one, within our price range, and two, bigger than the space we currently have. In case it's not perfectly obvious by the camera right here, this is my living room. This wall over here and this, like, dresser here, that's my living room. There is more space over there. There's an entire kitchenette area over there. However, that's not a part of the living room that I call my living room. Right behind the camera, that's where my desk is. It's another corner of the room. And uh, the bedroom's like way in the back. That's that's the only thing that's in that room and Anna's got a little study space in there. It's like, it's a very, very small abode. And as we've learned, because we're very materialistic people, we have been gathering more and more belongings, more and more furniture. I collect more and more bottles of spirits and liqueurs, and we're running out of space. So obviously, we figured that it was within our means to be able to upsize a little bit. Plus, the rent in this place is, keeps going up by 5% every month. And we're like, well, we can get a place that's cheaper than that by the time next year rolls around. And also, we've had our fair share of problems that we found here. The heat doesn't work very well. We're currently having a pest control issue. And well, people don't really respond to emails and whatnot. And the payment portal doesn't work very well. That's my complaints for this particular location. But on the bright side, Anna and I sent in our applications for a place that's not too close by. And hopefully, we'll be there. We'll be able to move in within the next like couple of months or so when the time our lease ends up. But you know what? And so after that was all over, there was all this back and forth about getting the right numbers and whatnot to the people who are accepting our applications. And I mixed up a couple numbers and Anna mixed up a couple of numbers. And we were like, oh my God, I don't think we're going to get at this place. But I just received like a text message like an hour ago being like, yeah, I think everything's going to work out for you guys. And we're like, yes, because it looks really nice. And when we got there too, we weren't the only people who were checking out the place. So I, I got into like fight mode and I was like, oh, I have to, I have to act fast or else I'm going to lose this potentially nice apartment. It's great. It's got like two floors. Like my stream area would be perfect on the first floor. It'd be great. Oh my God, it's awesome. The ba bathroom in the basement. There's a sauna. Like, I don't know what it is, but the last couple of places that we visited, I didn't realize that like saunas were a thing inside of houses, inside of apartments here in Philadelphia. However, these apartments that we went to, the last two, actually had a sauna closet, wherein there was a knob on the outside that looked like if you turned it, the heat in this room would rise to a certain point. Now, in the, both the places we looked, it was just used as a closet. So there were a couple of cardboard boxes, plastic boxes, and clothes and whatnot in these locations as we were checking it out. And so I was like, oh my God, what if, like because because when we went they were like oh feel free to like you know to open drawers and stuff like that to see if it's to your liking and i was like i really want to turn the knob on this thing to see like if it actually gets hot but like i wasn't obviously going to do that if there were cardboard boxes in there <laughs> i certainly shouldn't be the one that was the culprit of arson at a place that i don't yet rent that would be a problem in addition to a couple of these places also had like other oddities to them which honestly added a little bit of character both of them that we looked at the last two had trash compactors which I didn't realize was a thing here in Philadelphia either. Like you, you open the drawer, you throw your trash inside, it compacts it, and then I guess you take it to a cube outside, just put the cube on the front porch. I suppose that's how that works. I don't really know. I don't have a trash compactor here, so I wouldn't be able to know. But so she was, uh, the person who walked us through was like, yeah, those things are decommissioned, so it don't work anyway. And so I decided to go over and like open the thing and close it back up. And the place in the one in this person's house actually turned on, except they had a garbage pail in there. And so I was like, uh, um, what do I do? So I just kind of flicked the lever on it and I inevitably turned the thing off by hitting it a couple times. Just like, yeah, I don't know why that's still plugged in. They usually just put their garbage can in there, but it's not supposed to work. I'm like, well, you think you would know this, right? Also, also too, that's the, one of the requirements that I need in a new apartment is they have to have a fiber line. I need to be able to have a fiber internet connection so that the beautiful people of the world like yourself don't have to experience this weird artifacting that happens when my router decides to be stupid. It's not just the router, it's Comcast in general. But anyway, enough about my complaints about the world around me there was actually some good news as well which i guess technically that was good news but we ordered some foods last night it was like chinese or something like that and so we opened up a fortune cookie and lo and behold the fortune that we got said great you're ready for a party and i was like that is that is so perfect i wonder can we get that to 
Make look nice. Great. You're ready for a party. I'm so glad that actually adjusted properly. Awesome. Uh, which I thought was awesome because, you know, I have literally... I have the trademarked party box that I keep here on standby just in case anything needs to happen. You, know, you got your party horns. You got your... I apparently have a balloon pump in here and a, a journal that I completely forgot about until now just looking at that thing. So, oh, I learn something new every day. In any case... What you came here for was probably the cocktail hour, or perhaps the games that come after the cocktail hour. Well, wonderful viewer, beautiful viewer, we'll get started on at least one of those. Today's cocktail was something that, it was, it, it was let me back up for a moment. My brain's confuzzled today, can you tell? So every once in a while I try to give myself ideas of like how I want to make a cocktail or what I want want the cocktail to be. Either that becomes like an original recipe or I'm trying to go through one of my many many books that I have back here or I go online and I find something on Instagram and I'm like that's pretty. I'm gonna do my own rendition of it and give feedback and whatnot. Not that anybody wants the feedback but we give it anyway. That seems to be kind of the culture around like people doing like arts and crafts and whatnot. Mixology it seems like I did my thing and if you mention me and give me the credit then cool that's awesome. You can do a riff on it whatever you want to. But so what I wanted to do is this so many bottles in my collection like literally there's so many bottles it's awesome and i love all these different flavor combinations i can have but i wanted to use one in particular not like one in particular in particular but i looked up there and i was like huh what haven't i used in a cocktail like ever or like in a, in a long long while and the spirit that i was trying to use was something a cinnamon liqueur uh it's called Goldschläger. I don't have any other cinnamon-based liqueurs. I mean, technically there might be some fireball in this in this apartment somewhere. However, it's probably in a flask. It's probably buried in a closet. And it's probably there because I didn't want to remember, remember that I had it. And lo and behold, right now, if I did have fireball, I don't know where it is. I don't remember that I have it. So I just kind of searched the internet to see if there was something that used cinnamon liqueur. This, st this stuff's pretty cool because it actually has some like gold flakes on the inside and I guess they're edible otherwise why would they be in liquid that I could potentially choke on if I decided to chug the bottle which I'm not going to do but it's a cinnamon liqueur and so I found a recipe that supposedly takes a little bit of this a little bit of that and a little bit of Goldschläger and makes a drink it's called beautiful red and I found it on a website called completecocktails.com it's a very sketchy website. Sketchy in a way that usually when you go to websites, there's a little lock at the top if you're using Google Chrome. It uses a protocol called HTTPS, which is the Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure security version, which usually like encrypts your connection, makes sure it has the proper certificates and whatnot, so that you, the user, are can, uh, or, um, are secure in a way. Um, however, this place did not have that. There was the little red mark at the top that just like, your connection is not secure and you probably shouldn't be on this website. And I'm like, well, I took a picture of the website. I have the thing here. I will probably give the, I like, I'm torn between like, do I give the credit to the website? I don't particularly trust the website. There's a tweet button on it, which gives a really sketchy link as well. But like, anyway, there are beautiful things in the sketchy parts of the world. And this is what we're trying to, this is what we're trying to portray with this one. The cocktail is called Beautiful Red. There was absolutely no picture. It contains one red ingredient. And the rest of them are like clear and then one of them's a bright green so we'll see if it actually is as beautiful red as it could be i decided to dress up in my beautiful red outfit today this is actually out of anna shirts but oddly enough i think it fits really well and it's got this poof on the side and some ruffles and whatnot i don't know it's a vibe that i'm totally into right now uh i decided to to, to nix on the bow tie so i did not the bow tie was not a move today omg fancy cute boy absolutely fancy cute boy going on here now I have to be, I, I gotta ask a question. Does the bow tie make it look more cute? I'm not gonna put the bow tie on because I literally can't fit it on my head. It's just gonna fall and make me a fool of myself. But if it looks good, then we'll try to find a way to make it work in the collection. I like where things are going so far. So to kick things off for the beautiful red, I'm gonna need my cocktail shaker as I usually do. I'm gonna put my strainer off to the side, try not to make a fool of myself. Let's see something cool. I did it, that was pretty cool. I'm getting better at this. Oh my God, I love it. One of the things that I've been trying to do is practice my speed pours, and by speed pours I mean I don't even need my measure and jigger, this little thing. I just kind of pour a certain number of seconds and I get the correct amount of ounces out the other side. This is just water in this bottle, but I'm gonna hope that I can pour an ounce out of this. I think I poured about an ounce and a half, and let's see if I'm actually right about that. I'm trying to work on it, I'm not that good at it. Okay, it looks like I poured about an ounce, so I was off with my counting. Yeah, I poured about an ounce in there, but that's... That's irrelevant. What am I gonna do this with water now? I just noticed I have water. It's just water. It's not rum. I promise. I finished this rum the <laughs> I finished the rum the other day. Oh my god. It's okay without it. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, and I completely made a mess of my bar. Goodness gracious. Luckily, it's just water. I will continue to say it's just water because it's just water. Oh my goodness. A dirty bar is not a pleasant bar. You're gonna get drunk in two minutes. <laughs> 
this is this is you can trust me and if you trust me you will trust me when i say that i will not get drunk when i start pouring this into my mouth because it's just water i promise it's just water i, <laughs> I promise it's just water um although one day now that i actually have these speed pour things that could be something that gets very very interesting very very fast we can just believe it's alcohol you what goes on in your mind what goes on in your body your spiritual connection to the world around you is none of my business whatever you want to think you can think it however for the purposes of the terms of service of twitch.tv i will say that it's not alcohol that i'm putting in my body in such copious amounts and especially not incentivized by donations or anything else like that because that's not allowed so let me get some ice. I'm gonna throw this in my cocktail shaker. As usual, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, but there's one big cube and I'm gonna put three tiny cubes in there. That's just the way that I've been doing it. If somebody can give me proper directions as to otherwise and how to make this thing easier for myself, I would appreciate it. I, uh, I have a bar spoon. I can just whack the ice and break it all over the place. Um, however, I'm not very good at that. It makes more of a mess than it's worth. But maybe if I had a bigger bar, which it, that's my responsibility. I will eventually get myself a bigger bar, maybe build myself a bigger bar. Get yourself a bigger bar to see what you can do with it. So my first ingredient that we need in here is two thirds of an ounce or about 20 milliliters of gin. I'm actually running out of gin. Gin is one of my favorite base spirits just because it's, it's botanical, it's herby. It's like, I, I guess kind of my opinions have changed a little bit. I think my favorite base spirit is changing a little bit. It used to be rum because it had a shit ton of rum. It's not rum anymore. Then it became gin because I didn't have a lot of gin, but I liked the way it was flavored. And also people kept saying, I hate gin. And I was like, but I want to like gin. And now I don't even know where I stand. I don't even know what my favorite base spirit is anymore. I like sake. Sake's pretty cool, but I can't find enough cocktails for it. So the internet, internet help me. Or if there's a sake cocktail book out there, I need to know the name of it because I want to know. So on to my second, my last favorite my pen my penultimate favorite base spirit gin i've got brokers when i bought this particular um particular bottle of gin it actually had a little top hat on the top of it and it was the cutest thing it was awesome and i thought i put that top hat on one of my tiny party hats somewhere but i have no idea where i put that thing i know it eventually came off because i used like hot glue or something like that or super glue i don't know it didn't stay it might have just been elmer's glue to be honest just the cheap stuff that you get at the store but yeah, I don't know where the top hat is. And it's such a, it's so unfortunate because it's such a cute little top hat and I can't find it. And if I had a way, I'd be able to put it on my head. But with the blackout curtains behind me, you probably wouldn't be able to see it anyway. It's just... One day, one day. I haven't forgotten about my tiny little top hat, which used to be on a tiny little party hat, which used to go on my rather large head. It's not very tiny. That's why the bow doesn't fit around it. In addition to the gin, we're going to need strawberry liqueur. Now, the website said that you need to use a strawberry liqueur called Weneker. W-E-N-N-E-K-E-R. I've never heard of that before. I wasn't about to go to the store to try to find it. Instead, I had one strawberry-based thing in my collection. And is this? it's this bottle called Chum Chumchurum? Chumchurum. It looks like it's in Korean script. I don't, I don't read Korean or anything like that. But I believe, usually when I see characters with the circles... I reasonably believe that it's Korean. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to say this is a Korean strawberry-based uh, alcohol with artificial flavors. So I wouldn't even call it Korean. Oh, it literally says Korea. It says Korea on it. I I'm right there. Hey, boy. Hey, friend. What's going on? Ooh. We, uh, Guido Ni will whisper with some names of guys that you know that are in a cocktail art as well. And they have two Canadian friends from Edmonton who worked in nice bars. Ooh. I am all for networking with people who want to share their cocktail recipes and whatnot. I, for one, would not consider myself a pro. I'm very much a novice and also an enthusiast. And I just like, can you tell, I kind of like to talk about this stuff a little bit. I'm a little bit of an introvert for what it comes to behind the whole internet like scene of it all. But if somebody sends me a message, I will respond. I promise. I promise you that. So this particular strawberry bay flavored alcohol thing actually does taste like strawberry it smells like strawberry strawberry in the sense that you get strawberry candy from the store get strawberry milk from the store and it smells like that it doesn't smell like an actual strawberry and actually i can do a little side by side comparison because i actually do have strawberries that we're going to use as a garnish later this strawberry smells like a strawberry i guess i don't exactly know how else to describe it and this here also kind of smells like a strawberry but this smells more like it's got something else going on it's a little chemically and it smells more like kind of like what i said before you know how i don't know 
a cherry dum dum lollipop. A cherry lollipop doesn't taste like a cherry. It tastes like something different. A watermelon lollipop does not taste like a watermelon. A strawberry does not really taste like a strawberry lollipop. They've got like an, almost like a, a confectionery version that exists out there in the market that like appeals to people's flavors. They're like like I take I take a bite of like the the banana like uh I think the candy is the runts the little yellow like hard candies and. It tastes like something completely different. Now, bananas are a different story. Supposedly, the type of bananas that we eat nowadays is completely different than the bananas that we used to eat back then because of a bacterium that actually wiped out an entire genus of bananas because all bananas are clones of each other. <gasps> but in any case, um, enough about bananas and whatnot and my existential belief that <laughs> maybe one day the whole the, the, another fruit is just going to disappear off the face of the earth. Two thirds of an ounce of whatever strawberry based alcohol liqueur that you may have. Preferably yours would be the color red because I feel like it would be very fitting here to make the beautiful red cocktail ingredients. Okie dokie! Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. I don't know why I'm putting my measuring jigger away. I gotta... I can put this thing away because I'm not using that right now. The next ingredient that I need is raspberry liqueur. About a third of an ounce, about 10 milliliters of that stuff. And I've got... Again, I'm taking some liberties with this because I'm just using what I have. I have Raspberry Pucker by De Kuiper. De Kuiper or something? It's Pucker Raspberry. It's sweet and sour schnapps. So it's going to taste like raspberry, I guess. That's that's my guess, I think. Dom's saying that he wants to stay in, but you're struggling today. Is he just going to wish you a good stream? Oh, absolutely, Dom. Do what's best for your mental health. If you just got to rest and whatnot, that's totally fine. We'll see you next time. Just be well. Be well, my friend. And Guidoni says that they whispered to me so we can see it after the stream. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. I would, I don't respond to any, like, whispers and whatnot during stream, but I would most definitely get to it after the fact. So thank you in advance for whatever mystery awaits in my DMs for now. But so, the raspberry liqueur that I have is supposed to be a sour one. The, 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 the recipe doesn't say that it should be sour. It just says it should be raspberry. So this is both sour and raspberry. It's kind of what I have, and it's, uh... I wasn't about to go out of my way. I had, it's interesting. This particular cocktail recipe calls for a lot of different things that like I've never actually pulled together. It's very, very fruity, but it's also very herbal. And it's also very like spicy in a way because cinnamon is technically a spice. So it's kind of coming from all different parts of my shelves. There's a couple of very uncomfortable positions on my shelf that I see up near my uh, bottles and whatnot that are just awkwardly empty right now. And you know what? That's That's okay with me eventually I will put things back and eventually this is my dream so now now that Anna and I have been looking for another apartment we are like oh my god what we really want to do is we really 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 want to um oh I'm blanking well I really would want to be able to like upgrade like the, the the stream setup and stuff like that and one of the things that I really want to upgrade to be able to do is to have like the liquor collection behind me like an actual bar that'd be so 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 cool but anyway I can dream about that. Next couple months, maybe, maybe build something like that. It'll get better. I'm always trying to look for ways to improve. So I need a third of an ounce or a just about 10 milliliters of raspberry liqueur. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, I need a little bit more in there. I don't have, the measuring lines that I have inside of this jigger are one ounce at the top, three quarters of an ounce, half an ounce, and quarter of an ounce. So I don't actually, I, I can't really measure exactly a third. However, like, I can, I can gauge it. It doesn't have to be perfect. The only the only mouth, the only body that this alcohol is going into is mine. So I could have, I, I could do whatever I want. I'm totally free to do whatever. There are no chains that bind me at my bar and your bar. It could be anybody's bar. You want to come to the bar? You can come to the bar. Take a seat. We have no chairs. There's just a couch. There's an awkwardly placed couch right here because this is my, I, this is my living room. This is my television. This is where we eat dinner and watch TV. And that's my couch. <laughs> Hopefully that'll get better <laughs> at some point in time when I get a bigger place. <laughs> the next, <clears throat> excuse me, the next ingredient that I need is apple liqueur, specifically this one called for sour apple. And I actually do happen to have sour apple liqueur. I've never actually opened this thing. I have not yet found a need to use apple liqueur. So I have Johnny Bootlegger Alcatraz Sour Apple. It's an apple shot. I'm certainly not taking the whole thing. It kind of looks like a little flask. It's okay. What's wrong with my couch? There's nothing wrong with your couch. We got it for free. Why would there be anything wrong with a free couch aside from the fact that the color's a little off. It's a little bulky. It's not that comfy anymore. When you sit in it, it kind of sinks a little bit. And I don't know what's been sleeping under there, but I definitely can think that I can hear it at night. But that's not the couch's fault. That's, that's I guess, our fault because we're the, we're the, we're the people who live here. But in any case, happy spirits, happy spirits, more spirits, third of an ounce. 
of Johnny Bootlegger Apple Shot. I actually, I've never opened this bottle before. I think I bought it with the intent to take it to a party and bring my own alcohol, but I didn't actually want it. And I don't think anybody had it. It sat on the counter. It was not open literally at all last night, uh, that night. So I had the entire bottle to myself. And to be honest, I'm actually very curious of what it tastes like. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my glasses. Oh, actually, 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 let me taste things. We can use a snifter. I'm really curious about what this thing tastes and smells like. So I'm going to put a little Johnny bootlegger in my snifter glass here. It's very green. As you can see, it's very green. I don't exactly know what that's going to do on the final cocktail because it's supposed to be red, but it's not exactly that red. It's very green. We'll see what happens. It smells... Oh my God, it smells like green apple, quite literally. I mean, it doesn't... So nowhere on this does it say green apple. However, it says apple and the color of it is green and it literally smells like a Granny Smith, quite honestly. Or like that confectionery sour apple. I haven't had a Granny Smith in a while, so I'm not really up to snuff on like what it's supposed to smell like. And it's good too. That's nice. I wouldn't say that's a very, it's a very super pleasant tasting. It's not super sour. It kind of tastes like, this literally tastes like you took a green Jolly Rancher, the green apple Jolly Rancher, and put it in water and let it dissolve. And then you watered that down. Take it, It's like you took a green apple Jolly Rancher, made some syrup out of it, and then watered it down considerably. That's really all this tastes like. And there's really not much of an alcoholic kick to it, although I am feeling a little bit up here. And there's something else going on there that's like... Let's take another sip of that. It's weird. I don't know how to describe that. It's almost like... It's almost like... Dusty. I would call it dusty. There's something dusty tasting about that. And I don't think it's because it's been sitting for this long time. I literally haven't opened it. But I would say it tastes like watered down green apple that was left with the bag open. Yeah, I think that I think that's a good one. <laughs> and honestly, it's not super bad. It's going to go in with the other stuff. So it's not going to be that big a deal. Anyway, I need a third of an ounce of whatever sour apple liqueur that you have. 10 milliliters. I've got this one. So that's the one that I'm going to use. And hopefully finish off half the bottle while I'm at it, because there's really not that much in here. And honestly, I don't know how much I need to keep it. Third of an ounce. Didn't make a dent in that at all. That's truly unfortunate. Anyway, moving on with our existences. The next ingredient that we need is cherry brandy. Now, based off of the assumption, the, the feelings that I've gotten from this website res recipe so far, I would think when they say cherry brandy, they mean you go to the store and you say something that says cherry brandy on it and it looks red and it looks bombastic. However, I don't have, I wasn't gonna go to the store for it, so I have Kirschwasser, which is actually an eau de vie. I don't, I couldn't tell you what that means. I need to do my research on it. However, it does say Black Forest Kirschwasser Cherry Brandy distilled only from Black Forest cherries. So it says Cherry Brandy. So I'm going to call it Cherry Brandy. It's Cherry Brandy. It's Schladerer. It's Kirschwasser. It's a third of an ounce, AKA about 10 milliliters. So measure as you will. And um, I like this one. I think I used this, not last time, but two weeks ago. And um, it was a cherry. It was, um, oh, what was it? It was an espresso... An espresso brandy cocktail. That's what it was. I don't remember. Oh, it was called Blackjack. That's what it was. It was the Blackjack cocktail that we made two weeks ago with actual espresso in it. It was great. I used, <laughs> I, I realized I had a little, I had a, quite a few leftover coffee grounds from that episode. So I actually mixed it in with my cold coffee con concoction of like all the different grounds that I have so I can make like a mystery coffee. And I gave myself a cup of that coffee this morning. And that's probably how my, my world got so spun out of control today. My mind was like totally racing. I was like, oh my God. I'm like, I'm jacked up on this coffee. Oh my God, what is going on here? I was not prepared for the amount of caffeine that that particular ground of coffee was gonna add to my cup this morning. But I've had the entire day to calm down. I did not do any more caffeine today. Usually it's like an espresso shot, a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, and then multiple cups of tea after that. And usually I'm wired for the day and I can get my work done. Today, it was just a single cup of coffee and that's all I needed. So <laughs> I wasn't about to push myself any farther. I worked from home this morning because we had to check out the apartment and whatnot. And then I went in later that day and I was like, focus mode. And it was awesome. All right. So now that we've added the cherry brand, we've added gin, strawberry liqueur. I used strawberry flavored alcohol, uh, raspberry liqueur, apple liqueur, specifically sour, cherry brandy, or Kirschwasser. We also need a teaspoon or five milliliters of cinnamon liqueur, which is the star of our show, which doesn't really get to stay, stay in the limelight for very long. It's goal. It's 
it's words it's german real gold flakes 43.5 percent alcohol by volume goldschlager and it's got like gold bits flying around in it and it's actually pretty cool i don't know if i'll be able to get it actually if i shake it up there's a better chance of me getting one of the gold bits in the cocktail glass so let's i'm gonna see if i can get one of those yeah. open up open up i'm coming in also also too it's a little unfortunate i only need a teaspoon of it so i literally basically put a dash or even like that it's about a sixth of an ounce that's what they're measuring it out to be so i'm gonna i'm gonna try my damnedest uh to get it just below the line for like a fourth of an ounce and try to get like come on get one of the gold bits in there come on dude come on gold bits i'm gonna get one of the gold bits did i get one of the gold bits in my hand i did not that's unfortunate well if i can get a gold bit cool i'll consider myself even more lucky today but i don't think it's gonna happen Nah, that really wasn't gonna happen. That's so sad. Oh well. Teaspoon, five milliliters, six of an ounce. Gold Schlager. It's cinnamon liqueur. It actually smells and tastes awesome. Actually, I can just lick my hand because I just put it all over my hand. It's awesome. It's like a hot tamale. The candy. I'm comparing a lot of things to candy today, and I don't. Th I think that's a good thing. That means that I'm in a sweet mood. A sweet, awesome, sweet and spicy mood. It's sweet and spicy. That's what this is. Well. It's not really spicy. As much as cinnamon is spicy, it is spicy, per se, if that makes sense. So that's what I got. We're going to shake this thing up, and then we're going to pour it up into a cocktail glass. Um, and then we're going to figure out the garnish. I've got a cool garnish plan. We'll see how that goes. So once you've got your gin, strawberry, raspberry, apple, cherry, cinnamon, all together, shake it up. And then find yourself a glass to put it in, I suppose. I'm going to take... Oh, can you stop hissing at me? Stop hissing at me, dude. Calm down. I'm getting the glass for you. Going over here. I'm going to use this glass. I'm gonna use this glass. So what I'm going to do is... Actually, not yet. What I'm going to do first, before I actually pour it out, because I always... I'm trying to figure out the best way to like do things in order and whatnot. I've never really watched cooking shows, so I don't have a very good reference for this. I'm going to put this to the side... Let it go for a little bit. Although technically, technically, I should be making the garnish first if I'm gonna be putting have to prepare it because then there's less time for the cocktail to like sit in the ice and whatnot. So actually, what I'll do is I'll put this in my cooler so the ice doesn't melt in there, or at least I'm gonna try not to let it. And I'm gonna make a garnish. Or at least I'm gonna try to. I was trying to think to myself, what what would be good in this? And I was like, a strawberry would be good in this. It's supposed to be a strawberry cocktail. So I decided to Google. Um, <laughs> strawberry garnishes um, and I found out how to make a, a strawberry rose it actually looks like a flowered rose so I'm gonna try this I made one before stream and it looked okay so I'm gonna try to see if I can get a good angle for being able to show the world at large how to make a strawberry rose um, garnish I'm gonna try my best here this is not the best angle <laughs> if I had more control over the camera I, I would try something a little bit different. So I'm going to put a cutting board here and my knife that I'm going to use for cutting. I don't know if this is going to work. I'd make it a little bit higher, but the camera is so, it's so far away. I can't do anything about it, but I hope this is sufficient. I hope this gets the message across. And now I'm going to take out some straw. I got strawberries. So I'm going to take out some strawberries. I'm going to take out a really nice one. There are a couple of, uh, uh, there are a couple of ones that aren't as, I guess, strawberry like in terms of the shape some of them are a little oblong but they're as delicious as the other ones i ate one before stream actually i also ate one as stream started so what we're gonna try to do we're gonna try to make a strawberry rose garnish essentially all you're gonna need to do is take your strawberry and what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to cut a pentagon into it if that makes sense so basically you're gonna t imagine that this strawberry is a circle and you're trying to make it into a pentagon and you're not going to cut all the way down because you want those pieces of the strawberry that you seem like you're cutting off to stay attached to the strawberry. And we're going to do that multiple times to the point where it'll kind of look like rose petals forming in from the center. Not perfect. Not going to be great. Especially because I'm looking at it at a completely different angle. So <laughs> apologies if this doesn't look like a rose or a flower at all. But that's how we're going to try to do it. On the bright side, I can kind of see the depth of my cuts very clearly from this angle. So I've made one cut there. Make another cut here uh, that's two i need three more and we're basically just gonna do that uh all right i can i can swing that i can swing that the walls the petals of my flower are gonna be a little um off shape 
but that's okay. That's okay. And ugh, if only I could get closer on the camera here. Can we tell? I'll, I'll do like little. That's what it's supposed to look like so far. And you kind of like you kind of flare out those sides. Um, if you're me, you can use your fingers because I'm the one drinking the cocktail, but I suppose if you're like a mixologist, then you'd probably want to use like the knife itself to be able to kind of flare those out a little bit. It's going to look, from the bottom, it's going to look something like this. From the top-ish, if I don't ruin it, it's going to look something like that so far. And essentially, if you've got that down, do it again or do it a third time. However big your strawberry is, we're just going to do that until we get to a reasonable center of the thing um, when we decide that we're going to take the core out. Um, that was a really, really bad cut on my part. Uh, apologies. Um, that was one additional cut. There's two additional cut. There's three additional cut. Oh, that cut right off. All right, I'm gonna put that in my mouth. That's fine by me. I, I'm not, I ain't perfect around here, but nobody is. Oh, that cut off too. Incredible. Well, this is not exactly working the way that I intended it to. Then again, I didn't test at this angle earlier, so... Yeah, this is this is a bust. All right, well, those are the <laughs> those are the instructions. If you're gonna try to make a strawberry rose garnish yourself, um, I'm gonna do it from my angle just so I can. That's that's how you're supposed to do it. You're basically supposed to do that and then just keep going to the center. I don't get it this time. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this off to the side and cut it from my angle, because at my angle. I can make it look more like a strawberry. Special flower, special flower, the specialist of flour. I wonder if you can make strawberry flour, like actual flour for like baking and whatnot. And speaking of strawberry flour, I could totally, totally, totally go for like a strawberry shortcake right now. Cause I love, I love the taste of strawberries so much. I'm gonna take one of the more beaten up ones. It's beautiful on the inside and it also tastes probably just fine. This is so that the cocktail looks really, really good. I am apparently not skilled enough of a cameraman to be able to make it look good while also presenting to the people how to do it. On the bright side, this isn't an instructional show. This is not me attempting to teach the world how to do anything because I am not a teacher. Instead, it's just a dude on the internet who is trying to explore his cocktail collection, make some friends along the way, and, you know, have a good conversation. That's what it's all about. It's just uh, it's kind of like kind of like being at a bar. You know, you go into the bar, maybe you're trying to pick up some people, maybe you're trying to learn a new thing or two, new kid on the block. I don't know. It's a place to hang out. Many adventures start in taverns, as I've learned from D and D. So you know, life doesn't have to necessarily not be like that. You know, the world is full of adventures. Go out and take it. Go out and take those adventures for yourself, and bring your friends along the way. Cause what's an adventure without a party? Oh, maybe that's what that fortune cookie. It said, great, you're ready for, I think it was either the party or a party. I don't remember. But maybe it meant like a D&D &D party. Maybe that's what it's all about. Yeah, I could be into that. You know, this whole this whole flower thing would probably also be better if I, um, I actually had a sharp knife, but I don't. I just have this paring knife and I haven't sharpened it in a hot minute. I literally, I'm struggling. But at least I have a strawberry to make me feel better. All right, so in any case... If you do it better than the way I did it the first time, you're gonna get this flower looking thing. I say flower looking because it's kind of flower-esque. Here, this is this is the flower for you. It's the strawberry flower. It's the very the veriest, veriest, strawberryest flower that there is, and a special one too. And so now you'd be thinking, all right, cool, that's pretty awesome looking, or maybe it isn't, but how do you put it on top of a, a drink? And so essentially, I'm gonna take my glass, I'll put it up here, I'm just going to cut a slit down the middle um, into the petals. Otherwise, I'll cut off the petals. Um, and that'll be a way for me to actually sit it on the glass itself. And hopefully I don't destroy the thing while I do so. Please don't, Cameron. Please. You work so hard on this. Oh, my God, Cameron. Please. Ah! Yeah, you know what? That's good. That's good. I, I agree with that. And then you kind of, like, put it on the side. If there are any professionals out there in the audience who know better, know a better way to do this, um, I'm, I'm all ears. I want to know what you know. Actually, we put this on the other side. This would probably be better. Yeah, I like it better on the other side. All right, well, if it wasn't already obvious that I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. Hi there, I'm Cameron. Welcome to the show. I'm learning just like everybody else is, but that's not something to be embarrassed about. And so I'll put that to the side. I'll get my, I'll get my, my podium ready so we can actually pour this thing 
into the other thing. The cocktail is the one thing, the glass is the other thing. Let's line this up, line up for the shot. Get in a little, see how that works. Honestly, well, it's not the prettiest looking thing, but it's a thing nonetheless. Let me see if, see if I can flare these petals out a little bit. Oh no, oh, oh, that's okay. You can stay right there if you'd like to. If you feel most comfortable, then that's okay. Please, just, hey, it's doing okay. All right, well, I think that, that honestly, I'm really, really tough on myself. It probably doesn't look that bad, but I'm really tough on myself. So I'm gonna say, get better, Cameron. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a valid attempt. All right, now I'm actually gonna pour the ingredients into the cocktail glass. I am gonna add just a couple of ice cubes to keep it cold, a couple of small ones. I don't need anything big in here. I'm not trying to like take up space or anything like that and make a big deal. I'm trying to just let the world know that I like my drinks cold and I'm gonna keep it that way. Are we cool? Are we cool? Be cool. Fill it up with a couple of small ice cubes and let's pour it in and see what we got. Ooh, it is beautiful and red. It's not that bad at all, actually. Not that bad at all. I'm not super good at this particular pouring technique, so I'm gonna try as best as I can to. All right, that did it. That did it, and I like it. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, I got most of it out. That's excellent. It smells mostly like the Kirschwasser, as well as the cinnamon. I taste, I smell cinnamon, and I also smell cherry, technically speaking. And that's, that's, that's good smelling. I like, that. I can't wait to try that. All right, I'm gonna put this off to this side. I don't need that anymore. And the only other thing I'm gonna do here, because, you know, it looks, it looks pretty nice already. I really like the way that that looks. And if, if I get out of the way, maybe it'll look even better. Ooh, very pretty. I like that. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I think, and this is a personal, this is a personal add to it. I'm just gonna add a couple of slap pieces of mint because I think it's gonna look nice and I think it's gonna smell nice. So I took, currently my my mint plant, Menthol Man, is recovering right now. Um, Menthol Man went through a very, very rough period of time where we had to do some pruning and whatnot because Menthol Man was dying. So um, we only have tiny leaves, very, very tiny leaves. But we're gonna give those leaves a smack and then they're just gonna kinda, kinda float them, almost like petals of a strawberry. Just kinda throw them all in there. It looks much better from the top, I assure you that. I actually, usually when I post pictures of this thing on like Instagram and stuff, I never get a top photo. So I'm gonna get a top photo this time and I'm gonna see if that looks good. But this is the beautiful red. Beautiful red flower, beautiful red strawberry, beautiful red liquid in a glass, I don't really know. And the beautiful red calls for two thirds of an ounce or 20 milliliters of gin, two thirds of an ounce or 20 milliliters of strawberry liqueur, a third of an ounce or 10 milliliters of raspberry liqueur, apple liqueur, specifically sour and cherry brandy, as well as a teaspoon or about five milliliters, six of an ounce of cinnamon liqueur. Uh, I use Goldschläger in this case. It's cinnamony, it's lovely, and it's got pieces of gold in it that I couldn't seem to fish out this time around which is rather unfortunate. So apologies as I take my obligatory cocktail photo of the day. Looks very, very nice. I'd like to get a couple of angles of this thing. I'm gonna turn it around in my direction. I like to like to do a little bit of talking while, I, while the thing gets its time due. Yes, how are you doing? You look dis, dis, not good at that angle. We'll try that. And I'm gonna try to do like, I wanna see how it looks from the top angle. I don't think it's that. Oh, that's actually not that bad at all. Actually, I'll do that not on top of the yoga blocks. That's what I'll try to do. At some point in time, when I have more control over things, I'm gonna put the camera back. Y'all don't need to look at my oddly unshaven chin. It's five o'clock shadow. I really can't do anything about it. Um, but instead of, I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, eventually, eventually I'll be able to like play with the lighting and stuff like that. I wanna be able to have like finer control over the lighting. I mean, I have just fine control over the lighting, but like I can't get it at just the right angles for like the pictures of the cocktails. And that's something I'm trying to like get better at too. I want to be able to like present these things in a better way. Not only presenting the drinks in a better way, the games in a better way, the content in a better way, everything could always be better. There's always room for improvement. And it's not something that we need to stress over. Although I tend to stress myself over it. I guess it's just kind of in my personality, but you know, there's no pressure there. No pressure, no pressure at all. In any case, there is pressure to see what this thing tastes like pressure from me it smells like i said before like it smells mostly of the kirschwasser which is a very like it's a very like skin forward cherry uh in my opinion although i haven't had too many cherries in my life but i imagine it's how a barrel full of cherries would smell if you smelled the barrel after the cherries were in there it also smells of it smelled of oh my god what was the other thing that i just said 
It smells like mint now. I don't remember what I said before, but it smells like mint because I literally slapped mint and threw it up on top. And technically, if I put my nose right against the strawberry, it also smells like a strawberry. Who knew? But it tastes like... so different that is really really different okay it's effort it's it's um i, I think it's like effervescent in a way almost minty not like mint from the mint leaf mint like from something that was fermenting for a while i think that's the kirschwasser th showing through there's another there's another angle to that that i can't quite describe but i know it's coming from the strawberry alcohol that we put in there the 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 korean alcohol the chumchurim the chumchurim i don't know how to pronounce that unfortunately but and it's also it's also and that's the strawberry there. I'll take another one of that. And it's also the it's Kirschwasser, and I get the cinnamon at the very end as well. That's not like that's not a combo that I'm used to. The combo here is cinnamon, cherry, strawberry, cinnamon, cinnamon. Whoa, I can't speak. Cinnamon, cherry, berry, or cinnamon, strawberry, strawberry. It's different. What else is in there? Oh, gin was in there. I guess that makes sense. I think the gin's kind of lost, to be perfectly honest. And I don't taste much of, much of the raspberry. If there was anything supposed to be sour going on here, it gets lost when combined with the strawberryness of it all. I mean, there's definitely a sourness in there, but, like, I can't piece it out from one of the other sweetnesses that are in the glass right now. But I'd say overall, it's, it's okay. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite drink that I've ever had. It's not... It's a lot less fruity than I thought it was going to be. It's honestly a lot less red than I thought it was going to be. And it's a lot more spirit forward. It's kind of like somebody was like, I, this seems to me like one of those drinks that somebody was like, I want it to look a certain way, but I don't have a flavor profile in mind for it. So they made it look a certain way with the ingredients they had, probably more red than what I have. The apple liqueur mine could have been red. Technically the, uh, the cherry brandy could have been red as well. And there, I know there are cinnamon liqueurs out there that are also red. So this could have been a very, very red cocktail if you had the right ingredients. And I think they might've been going for the look, but not going for whatever like flavor profile that we were, that we were trying to get out of it. I think if I had to do this, if I had another shot at this, and I'm not gonna take the time to do it now, but if I, if I had to think off the top of my head of how I would do it differently, I would add more strawberry to it. Maybe not, maybe not the strawberry liqueur that I had, uh, or the strawberry alcohol that I had. I would have something that's a little more like confectionery for it, like something that actually says strawberry liqueur, something that has more sugar into it to bring the strawberry part of it out. If the strawberry is supposed to be on the main stage here, I think something minty as a part of the recipe would also be pretty good too, because I really like the nose there, but I think the mint leaves are probably just fine. And that was my own addition, not anybody else's. But also too, the Kirschwasser, I think is fine the way it is. The cinnamon could be more more pronounced it's very very it's it's light it's very light although i think it'd be better you're as sweet as a strawberry oh thank you appreciate that although to be perfectly honest i think this particular strawberry is sweeter than i have been in recent days work can get a little tough sometimes i am a sweet person as you can tell it says sweet on my lapel but no uh, that's a sweet sentiment i appreciate those puns those are great but that's how i do it better the way that i would do this better than it currently is is more powerful strawberry, a little more cinnamon, dial back on, I guess there was gin in there. I think get, dial back on like the base spirit in there. I don't think there needs to be as much. It's all alcohol anyway. There's no, honestly, this could go well with some simple, you know what? Hold on, hold on a second. That would be a very simple way to make this better. I think, I think simple syrup, a little bit of syrup to make this taste Oh, maybe the grenadine? Oh, grenadine would make it better. No, I'm not gonna just throw grenadine into things just because I can't. Well, actually, I'm right, gonna try something even different. I have, all right. Hi there, every person. I'm back, I'm coming back. So actually, I don't, I have simple syrup. However, oh, what if you took, what if you took out the gin? Add grenadine. I'm not adding grenadine. Instead, I have spiced simple syrup in my refrigerator as well. It's not, just regular simple syrup. It's complex syrup, if you will. And I know, I believe it was made with a little bit of allspice, a bit of cinnamon, and probably something else in there. And I am literally going to add the smallest, the smallest amount that I possibly can to here, if I can get it open, which <laughs> it seems that I can't get it open. Oh my goodness. Um, hi there, this is Cameron. Uh, welcome to opening a bottle. I can't do it. Oh no. 
No, I can't do it. Wait, what if I use what if I use the shirt? <laughs> I'm struggling here. I gotta go get the rubber glove. Or maybe I have something around here that might help me. I have plastic bags. Plastic bags help. What if I use? <laughs> do it yourself opening a bottle. That's the problem with me taking the syrups that have been in there for a while. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on. It's so stuck. Oh my goodness. That's not working at all. Wow. This is embarrassing. No, wait. Oh. I got it. <laughs> and all it took was, what is in this container? What is, what is in this container? Oh, <laughs> there are Uno cards. It was like, you have been denied from opening up the bottle of spiced simple syrup. Wait, I gotta find, there's like, there's a card in here I'm looking for. Where's the card? Now you have to be the one who takes the drink. It probably would've been cooler if it was a red one, but anyway. <laughs> Let's see if I add a little bit of simple syrup to this. Literally, literally just the bar spoon. Probably even less than that. I don't even think I need more than that. It will probably throw the whole thing off. We'll see. If it works, cool. If it don't, whatever. Bar spoon. Bar spoon is simple. Not so simple. I'm just gonna mix that up just a tad. Just to kind of, just agitate it. Just agitate your drink just a little bit. Put it on edge. Just a tad. Okay. So now that that's in there, let's try it different. Alright, so, I think I mentioned before, this has like cinnamon in it, I think it's got allspice in it, it probably has something else in it, maybe a bit of clove. Honestly, combined with the the flavor that's coming from the, the Goldschläger, the cinnamon liqueur, this goes incredibly well with it. Honestly, that simple addition distracted me from the weirdness that I experienced earlier. So actually, I would say my version of this would just add a bit of simple syrup. I think what I'll do is when I post things afterwards, I think I'll probably do a slightly adjusted recipe just to give my thoughts on it because it wasn't that good according to the recipe that I found. No offense to completecocktails.com, which is also a very shady website, but I think it could have been balanced a little bit more. Honest opinion there. I'm trying to be honest around here. But that's my thought on the beautiful red cocktail, which would make, which was made with gin, cinnamon liqueur, strawberry liqueur, cherry brandy, raspberry liqueur, sour apple liqueur, and apparently some spiced simple syrup if you got that laying around. Honestly, if you got the simple, add the simple. If you like things more sweet, if you like things more spirit, spirit for it, then I, I guess you don't need it. It's whatever floats your boat, really. Really, if you like what's in your glass and you're enjoying it, then there's absolutely no reason to change it. I feel like there is too much out there of people being like, you have to make a Manhattan a certain way, or you have to make a Negroni a certain way. Listen, if the cocktail type follows a certain formula and you don't follow the formula, it's not that cocktail. I think it, from like a formulaic point of view, but if you like what's in the glass, it doesn't matter what the recipe was to get there. You like it, jot it down, share it with your friends. Maybe other people will like it too. That's how my, my whole mentality behind it. And some people don't agree with that, but it's good to have opinions here on the internet or else you don't, I guess. In any case, thank you so much everybody for coming around to the cocktail hour. We're ending things on this side of the bar for now. Sorry, I got some. I got some simple syrup by myself and apparently a piece of fuzz in my mouth. Don't know where that came from. That's disgusting. But we're gonna get here on the bar side of things. The next thing that we're going to do is I'm gonna take myself around to the other side at the desk and play a bit of Graveyard Keeper this evening. I'm so close to the end. We're getting so close to the end. In any case, if you enjoyed it here, wonderful. Come back again next week if you'd like to. If not, that's cool. You can, you can go on with your life. That's all right. I won't hold you to it. That's all right. Um, but if you're into video games, you can stick around for that too. If you want to, no need. Says that every week. I do say that every single week. I do. You can do whatever you want to. I'm not your parents. I'm not the one who's going to say, like, you got to do this. You got to like. You got to subscribe. You can do whatever you want to. I can't force you to do anything. And honestly, I wouldn't encourage you to do anything because that infringes on your free will. And I'm all about free will. If I didn't have free will, you certainly wouldn't be doing stuff like this. In any case... Thank you very much, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening, if that's the evening where you are. If it's the morning where you are, may the sun rise upon your beautiful face. If you don't have a face, then I hope it shines somewhere equally as faceful, I suppose. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you on the other side. If not, so long and party on till next time, y'all. Bye-bye. Right? Crackle, crackle, quickly, quickly, crackly. Back home, the portal has opened. Sweetheart!
Yes! Oh my god, it's Anna! My love! Anna, you came back to me! Interesting, so I didn't return home to my love, my love came to return to me. 